In Lesson 9.1, Circumference, we're going to look at Standard 7.G.4 about knowing the formulas on how to find area and circumference of a circle. The essential question is, is how do you find and use the circumference of a circle? They uh, remind us of some of the points that we have to talk about. A radius, okay, the radius is the piece that goes from here, they're showing that, from the circumference to the center. The diameter goes all the way across, okay? So the diameter is equal to twice the radius, because this would be a radius here, and this would be a radius here, so that's two times. And then the circumference is the amount that it goes all the way around. So on the next page here, we're talking about finding the circumference, and here's a key point I want to highlight to you. It says the ratio of the circumference to the diameter, so that's C over D, is the same for all circles. This ratio is the same, so here's the ratio, C over D, is the same for all circles. And that ratio is called pi. Okay, so a lot of us have heard that. And it's approximately 3.14 or 22 over 7. You can use either one of those. But if you look on your calculator, you usually will find that key. And I'd like you to use that key because it's going to give you more precision. Also in engineering, it's 3.142. Okay, so that's the uh, tenths, hundredths, thousandths position. And that gives us more precision, thus a better accurate uh, answer. So what they're saying here is that uh, the way we typically write our formula is this way here, where circumference equals pi d. And since we had said that the diameter is equal to 2 times the radius, we can substitute that this in here, c equals pi d. We can substitute this right in for that. And that's what they do down here. They're taking that, they've substituted the 2r, and then we rewrite it with the constant up front, 2 pi r. So we have two equations that we could use. Circumference equals pi d, so pi times the diameter, or circumference equals 2 times pi times the radius. So depending upon which information you're given, you can use any particular formula. So we take a look here at example one. It says an irrigation sprinkler waters a circular region with a radius of 14 feet. So we have radius. We go and, you know, we highlight our important information. Find the circumference of the region watered by the sprinkler. You can use 22 over 7 uh, for pi. You could use the pi key, okay? Uh, your answer is going to vary a little bit depending upon what you use, okay? If you use 3.14, 3.142, 22.7. But basically, it's a matter of substituting the information in to the formula and doing the calculation. So if you take a look here, sometimes you're not even going to be given this up here. You're going to be given a set of directions, and they're going to give you a diagram, and here's the information, and you're going to have to determine that that's radius. You then take that value, you substitute it in here, and you do the calculation. 2 times pi times 14. And you'll come up with this little symbol here means approximate, okay? So I would expect your answer to be somewhere close to that. If you had 87.9 something or 88.1 something, I'll give you credit. If you had something like 65 or something like that, then no, I will not give you credit for it. And then you would go ahead and you'd answer the question, the circumference of the region watered by the sprinkler is about 88 feet. Here in the next example, they give us the information. A circular pond has a circumference of 628 feet. A model boat is moving directly across the pond along the radius at 5 feet per second. So it's saying every every second it'll go 5 feet. So if you consider a rate table, well, and I've set it up as feet per second, so in f I will go 5 feet in 1 second, 10 feet in 2 seconds, 15 feet in 3 seconds, and so forth. So at this point we have uh, the highlighted information, and you simply put in the information into the formula where you see it. 
So we're going to take the 628 feet, and they're telling us that that is a circumference, so we put that there. We have two times the radius. We don't know what the radius is, but we do know that pi is 3.14. So we take 628 feet is approximately equal to 2 times 3.14 times the radius. So you start doing the math. We're going to do one-step equations here. So 2 times 3.14 is 6.28 times the radius. How do I, I got to isolate my radius, so I have to, this is a multiplication. I have to divide here. What I do on one side of the equal sign, I do on the other. So 628 divided by 6.28 so this is telling me my radius is about 100 feet. So my boat is going to be traveling, okay, at 5 feet per second. How long does it take to cover that 100 feet? Well, you can continue with the rate table if you want to, or we can come back here and what they show us. I wish they'd put the units in here, so I've gone ahead and drawn it again. 100 feet divided by 5 feet per second. So if we remember and we think of our fractions, I'm going to take and put that over. Now I'm going to do my KFC, so I'm going to continue to have my 100 feet over 1 times, and then this is going to end up being, this is 5 over 1, so this is going to be 1 over 5, and then my units flip, seconds over feet. So as we've learned, when we have anything over, they cancel out. So then one that equals, and I multiply straight across, my units of feet cancel out, so I have 100 seconds divided by 5, 1 times 5, because this is unitless, there's no unit there. And then we know that 100 divided by 5 is equal to 20 over 1, which would be 20 seconds. So it's going to take 20 seconds for that boat traveling at 5 feet per second to cross the radius, which is 100 feet. So here in the guided practice, it says find the circumference of each circle. So that's an example I told you about earlier. They just give you the circle, okay? Here's the formula. Uh, circumference equals pi d. So you go ahead and you take the 9 inches. That's the diameter right there. That symbol all the way across is diameter. So you're going to take that and you're going to substitute it in there and do the calculation. Here, you have to look at the in number two, you look in the, uh, the figure, and you see that you're given the radius. So we use the 2 pi r to find the circumference. You take that, and you go ahead and substitute that in for the radius and do the calculation. Down here, find the circumference of each, round to the nearest hundredth. Pay attention to that. That's a set of directions. This one, you're given the diameter. This one, you're given the radius. This one, you're given the radius and you put those into the formulas, the appropriate formulas, and do the calculation. In number six, they give you a word problem. A round swimming pool has a circumference of 66 feet. So we highlight that. Carlos wants to buy, he wants to buy a rope to put across the diameter of the pool. The rope costs 45 cents per pool, per foot, and Carlos needs four more feet than the diameter. How much will Carlos pay for the rope? So one of the little techniques I would do here is I would draw a circle. They're giving me my circumference, okay? So I just put a line. My circumference all the way around is 66 feet. He wants to get a rope to go across the diameter, okay? So I want to go across here. So I'm going to use my formula of C equals pi D. And I'm going to then substitute, so I have 66 in for my circumference equals pi times the diameter. I have to find my diameter, so I have to isolate that. So this is a multiplication. So we get rid of a multiplication through a division. So what I do on one side, I have to do on the other side. So 66 divided by pi, and that's going to tell you what your diameter is. And from that point on, you're going to know this, plus you need four more feet, and then you're going to take whatever that footage is, and you're going to multiply that by 45 cents per foot, and then you'll get your answer. So you go ahead and put in that information and uh, do that. Working with number seven here to help you out, um, we're looking for the diameter and we're going to look for the radius, okay? So we know that 
circumference circumference equals pi times the diameter. And what they're telling you here is that the circumference is pi yards. So we're going to substitute pi in place of circumference in the formula. So our formula is going to look like this. Pi equals pi times the diameter. I have taken this and I have substituted it in place there. So now I go back to like what we just did on number six. How do I, I have to find my diameter. How do I get rid of this multiplication? I divide, divide. Okay, so pi divided by pi is going to be 1. Okay, so, and it doesn't tell us any units, so we'll just call it 1 equals our diameter. We also know that the diameter is equal to 2 times the radius. So I, again, I take this value, I substitute it in place, so 1 equals 2 times my radius. I have to get rid of my 2 because I'm looking for my radius. So I divide that by 2, I divide that by 2. So my radius is going to equal one half. So my answer over here, my radius is one half, my diameter is one. Uh, again, there's no unit, so we're just going to leave it at that. So what they're doing is that they're giving you at different points here, you, what they give you, you substitute into the equation. So I'm going to substitute this into here, and then I do the one-step one equations. So I hope this information helps you out, and have a good day.